I myself as a real estate agent work hard every single day on real estate stuff to not be a real estate agent. And most agents do the same thing. And I'm gonna tell you why. But first, this is not throwing shade on the job. This is a fantastic job. It just takes a lot of your time away. Whatever day your client needs you, you have to be there. If a client texts you on a Wednesday afternoon and wants to see a house, guess what you have to do? Go show them that house. And I'm sorry if I killed your dream or your spirit because you may be getting your license or you're thinking about it and you're like, I'm gonna sell real estate for the rest of my life. Well, that's probably not the case and it probably shouldn't be the case because it takes a lot of your time. So that's one big reason agents work hard as agents to not be an agent. The second reason is because as an agent, you are a 1099 employee, which means you are self-employed, which means this is a business. However, the thing about this business is you're the business. You can't make this operation and just leave and make money infinitely unless you create a team or a brokerage. And really that's almost not fun either because most agents aren't good and now you become responsible for the other agent. And there's a saying out there that says, if you can't leave your business and it could run on your own, then it's not a business. It's more like a, a side quest, side hustle, whatever it is. And this is a business, but this is very much like personalized brand business. Like people shop with you because they trust you. They don't want to shop with somebody else. Number three, which is probably going to shock you, but real estate agents don't get paid as much as you think. The investor gets paid more, the wholesaler gets paid more, and the flipper gets paid more. But let me tell you firsthand, I've spoken to a lot of seasoned real estate agents and they all say the same thing. We work hard at the beginning to not be a real estate agent at the end because the only thing we truly have in life is time. And if you trade all your time away for a currency that you can't even use when you're dead or even have when you're dead, then what's the point? My exit strategy is to become a master at real estate, start flipping, start investing, start wholesaling, and then pivot into another business, which you guys will see if you guys stay tuned to this channel because I plan on documenting everything. And once I get that business properly running, I am going to rinse and repeat over and over and over and over again. And I'm going to do real estate as a side quest at that point because being a real estate agent could be fantastic and you can make a lot of money, but it is also very tedious and it will take all your time away. So if you're thinking about becoming an agent, do it. But also think about your exit strategy because most agents don't wanna be agents forever.